there everyone, and welcome back to another segment of Let's Draw Cartoons with Rick. Today we're going to draw a zebra, so let's grab our pencils and start drawing. So first thing I'd like to do is draw the eyes. So let's draw two circles next to each other. And then we'll put two little dots inside of it. And then we're going to draw his ears, which is basically two arrows at the top of his head. And then let's bring his face down and we'll draw some nostrils which are just two half rounds and then a little line on the inside of the half rounds. And let's round off his upper lip and then we'll add another rounded off part and then another rounded off part so he looks like he's smiling. So let's do the zebra's neck so let's make two lines that kind of come out and away from each other. And we'll do the zebra's mane. We'll add some lines. And then we'll put some more lines going all the way down his back of his neck. So it's kind of like these lines that are very short and very close together. They kind of stick up. So there we go. Next we're going to draw a little bit of his chest. Then we're going to leave a space. And then we'll do the underside of his body. Leave another space. And then we'll just round off the back and connect it. Now where we left these two spaces, we're going to draw his leg. So let's draw a leg with a little knee and then another line that comes down. And then we'll come another line down and then we'll go same thing with the back leg. A little line with a little knee. And then another one comes back. At the bottom we'll do some frilly little lines for this bottom of his legs where his hoofs are going to be and then we'll do his hoofs. And the hoofs are just a rounded part and a flat bottom and then it comes up the back. So rounded front, flat bottom, and then up the back. Next we'll go to his other legs because we got a two-legged zebra here. It's going to fall over if we don't give him two more legs. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll do a line with a little knee and then another line that comes down and we'll go in front of the back leg, give a little knee, and then another line that comes down. And at the bottom we'll do those frilly lines and then we'll round off the front of the hoof and bring it back. Do the same thing with the other back leg. Now we've got to add some tail hair. So let's just do some long tail hair that comes out the back of the zebra. So right now what it looks like is we have a kind of like a horse. So what we're going to do now is add the stripes. So I get like a thicker pen, almost like a brush. And then we're going to draw some lines starting from the neck going down, all the way down the body, and then we'll come from the bottom and we'll do some lines coming upwards. Make it go kind of like between the lines you did at the top. And then we'll do some on the side of his face, do some lines coming across, and then do the tops of his ears. Let's do some on his legs. We'll just make some stripes coming across. And we'll do it on the back legs. Just do some stripes. And let's fill in his hooves. We can make his hooves nice and black. Maybe leave a little white line on the front so it's kind of like a little shiny line. And maybe add a little bit of just some dirt at the bottom. And there we go. We just drew a funny silly zebra. And that wasn't very hard, was it? So, make sure you check your emails for the next segment of Let's Draw Cartoons. Or you can go to the archives and watch a bunch of videos on how to draw all kinds of fun and silly cartoon characters. Alright, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. So long.